Mostly clear skies with tolerable humidity on the backside of Francine. That's what we're going to experience the next couple of days. 73 overnight tonight. Mostly clear. Northwest wind 10 to 15. Starting your day tomorrow. 73 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we go about 79 degrees by 8 a.m. But then we head on to about uh, 89 by noon and 92 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But who cares? It's all going to work out with moderate humidity. 92 is okay. So is 93 McAllen, 92 Westlaco, Northwest wind 10 to 15, gusting to 20, uh, 91 Rancho Viejo, 91 Los Fresnos, 86 South Padre Island. Very nice indeed. Now the weekend forecast shakes out, uh, well, kind of half and half. Saturday, we've got low 90s, partly cloudy skies, and a 30% chance for an afternoon shower or thunder shower. Not a big deal. Then we go into Sunday and we start to see the opportunity for rain picking up a bit. Now we're at 50% chance for rain and rumbles, so you may have to dodge a shower or two. We're not expecting, you know, big severe weather, but we are expecting, you know, rain and rumbles. Here's the reason why Futurecast shows us that uh, heading on into Sunday, you're looking at a trough setting up offshore. That's a trigger mechanism and plenty of moisture in the atmosphere by that time. All right, so you've got a trigger and fuel. That, that gets you there. But we're going to throw in something extra. If you order now, we'll throw in upper level energy. And that's coming on in from the west. So you've got those two components working with the moisture to deliver a chance for showers and thunder showers. So that's going to last on in from Sunday, note the clock, on into Monday. And again on Tuesday, giving us that enhanced opportunity for showers and thunder showers. There you go. Now, as far as the tropics, well, we have that area of low pressure in the Atlantic. This is way out in the Atlantic. We're way on that side of the screen, and there's Africa way on that side of the screen. This is all going to continue to sort of bubble around the South Atlantic. Uh, the yellow one, I don't think it has much of a chance of anything. But the red one, yeah, that's got an 80 or better percent chance of going out into the Western Atlantic. I think it's just going to swirl around a little bit and do a whole lot of nothing. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. But no threats to the valley because, well, the last threat is now leaving town and heading toward Louisiana, where it's going to go on up toward uh, Lafayette, Baton Rouge, west of New Orleans, Homa, uh, that area on up in toward uh, well, the northeast, really. It's moving at 10 miles an hour now. It was moving at 5, now 10. And it now has winds of 85 miles an hour. So it's, it's chugging and it's getting itself together. Remember, this is the peak of hurricane season in terms of activity. And you can see, there we are, there it is. And now it's all downhill from here, isn't it? But we still have plenty of opportunity for a busy uh, second half to the season. Ah, seven day forecast shows the opportunity for the showers and thunder showers, particularly Sunday and Monday, but it's a, it's a homegrown thing, not a problem. Now let's talk about sports.